So my website is www.feminineprenoun.com and it is the home for my company that I own which is called Feminine Pronoun Consultants and what we do is help with all sorts of writing um, but through a justice prism so um, I help college bound teens write extraordinary college entrance essays but I have a heavy focus on people who would not normally have gotten into college um, I also do diversity and inclusion facilitation um, and the tagline is poetry pedagogy justice so I'm a poet and a writer I'm a teacher that's the pedagogy part and the justice part is happening live and in color right now <laughs> So today is called uh, Resist Trump Tuesday. It's Tuesday, um, January 24th, 2017. And um, I am going to collaborate with some other like-minded people to go to our legislator's office and talk about the Affordable Care Act. Um, <laughs> um, how integral the Affordable Care Act is for citizens who need uh, health care, medicine, preventative care. Our, uh, President elect Trump is, has just signed an executive order to get rid of ACA and it's frightening to 30 million people. Um, so we'll see what happens here in Belleville, Illinois. I work with stakeholders in St. Louis across the river very often but I live on the east side of the Mississippi River in Illinois, uh, in St. Clair County. So um, come along with me. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hello, 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 everyone. There she is. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Great. So maybe some one or two of those, whatever you think is best at the, that moment. Um, and then um, Treasurer will end and say thank you for for you know meeting with us, and we hope that um, Mike will uh, or Representative Bose probably is better. So Representative Bose will um, take this under consideration in future ACA votes. Okay, something like whatever you want to say, but that's the gist. Is we want we want to thank you for this giving us this time, and we want you to. Keep this under consideration. Okay, okay. So yeah. one more time, when I walk in, I'm hi. gonna say hi. I'm here with a uh, group of concerned voters of the 12th district, and we would like to speak with uh, Representative Boss. He's not gonna be. But are we saying his executive director? It's just his director. His director. And if they say no, he's not here, but you can leave a message, then I'll say no. I would like to speak with. And who was the second person? Matt. Is the office director, but I thought you said there was a second choice. And then whoever the a staff person is, so say, well, is there someone else we can meet here? And then when they give you a name back, ask, what's their title? What's their title? And if it's intern, no. Is there no. someone else? No, no. And all of you all are going to be standing behind me? Yes. 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 Yeah, Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the we're like the weirdest looking scene group ever. <laughs> well, the meeting just ended, and uh, we were able to lay our concerns. Um, Representative Bost is a conservative Republican, uh, so we did not ask him to champion ACA, but we did ask him to. Um, to champion a replacement before repeal. Thank you for seeing us. Well, do you mind if I say hello to you on my yeah. phone? Hi. Hello. And what is your name? Again? My name is Matt Rice. I'm the district director for Congress for Mike Moss. Thank you so much, Matt.
this kind of gives us a sense of who's going to be here. Right now, we're on track to having 13 schools uh, competing during the Verbquay Poetry Slam Festival, and we'll probably have as many as 17 schools represented overall. So. Okay, and is is Verbquay the nonprofit or Verbquay is just a program of herb arts? Of herb arts, yeah. herb arts is, is a, a is a nonprofit. We're okay. a nonprofit, uh, and herb arts is short for Urban Artist Alliance for Child Development. So okay. we've been around for 15 years, and our key program, one of our key programs, is Verbquay Youth Poetry Slam, and there's a lot of different, you know. Uh, organizations that do poetry slams throughout the country. Right, right, we right. We participate in that movement. Um, but it's a, but it's an awesome experience, and it's an awesome way to get young people from very different parts of the region together right. for poetry. So right. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. I love some baby poets. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think poetry is like a good way to like get your point about, across to other people. And like it's a good way, like to get people to understand, to like debate. It's like debate with more um, imaginative facts, <laughs> as opposed to alternative facts. <laughs> you know that was in my brain, like right here, yeah. right here. Uh, right here the oh, um, I, my favorite part about poetry is like it's it's an easy way to rant and just to like like. Just get your feelings out of there, and it's always help. It's pretty healthy. So. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's magic. All right. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. There's a bull and a matador dueling in the sky. But in hell, in hell, there's heaven. It's hell on earth and my city's on fire. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. There's a son forced to watch his own mother die. But in hell, in hell, there's heaven. No Frank Ocean, but I'm riding solo on my whip down the block to a house with no love in it. Head of the How to get over a breakup. Step one, burn his shit. Let his leftover love notes spark in the air along with stuffed teddy bears and some random pair of boxers you found beneath your bed. Let him be a firework that went off too soon, igniting the ground and the trees into a forest fire. He will not leave pieces of himself in my space. He will not be an ugly reminder. Seat. And oh gosh, how I let the rose velvet seat mold itself around my crooked body. I just love a man who's aggressive. Oh gosh, I can't believe how crazy you were. What, how? Then you crawled, seeped your way into my seat, took me by collar and mane, and stole it. Oh gosh, I love a man who's not afraid of the law. One. Always, always say yes, one. That was a fantastic little slam here at Hazelwood West. And now I am headed home. Y'all be safe. Not only the words, but the actual shots. And the world of literature. We present you with the World Without Boundaries Award. Mm -hmm. Afro World, St. Louis, Missouri, 2017. We love you here. Woo!
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.